Forget everything you know about the natural world. This isn't a world of predators that run, stalk, and chase. This is a world of silent, rooted assassins. On this planet, in the darkest, most nutrient-starved corners of the globe, plants have turned to murder. Not for energy, they still bathe in the sun, but for the essential building blocks of life itself, nitrogen and phosphorus. They are driven by desperation, and their solution is utterly terrifying. They feed on flesh. Welcome to the vampire planet, where the most beautiful creations of nature hide the most brutal killing machines. The most famous, the most cinematic killer in the plant kingdom is undoubtedly the Venus flytrap, Dianea muscipula. It looks like a decorative piece of foliage, but it is actually a biological bear trap, coiled and ready. It hunts in the peat bogs of North and South Carolina in a soil so acidic and barren, it forced a choice, evolve or die. The flytrap chose to evolve fangs. Its trap is a pair of hinged lobes fringed with stiff cilia. Those are the teeth. Inside, it's lined with glands that secrete a sticky, sweet nectar, an irresistible lure. But the real genius lies in the six ultra-sensitive trigger hairs. This plant doesn't rely on luck. It uses a complex neurological style decision-making process. For the trap to snap shut, two hairs must be touched in rapid succession within 20 seconds. This prevents the plant from wasting precious energy on a single raindrop or a piece of falling debris. It waits for confirmation. It waits for the heart of a meal to confirm its presence. And when the confirmation comes, the strike. The Venus flytrap is one of the fastest moving organisms in the entire plant kingdom, snapping shut in less than a tenth of a second. To put that into perspective, the flytrap's movement rivals the punch of a mantis shrimp or the strike of a rattlesnake, but it does it without muscles, without a brain, using only an astonishing hydraulic shift in its cell walls. It is a biological miracle of speed, designed for one purpose, entombment. Once sealed, the victim is crushed by the teeth and held fast. The plant then begins the slow, agonizing process of digestion. The glands secrete powerful digestive enzymes, a botanical stomach acid that dissolve the insect's soft tissues. The body is liquefied, absorbed, and then, after ten long days, the trap reopens to expose a single dry husk, a silent, rooted killer ready for its next victim. If the fly trap is a bear trap, the pitcher plants, Nepenthes and Seracea, are vast, inescapable black holes. These are the giants of the carnivorous world, and their methods are even more sinister. They don't chase, they build. They engineer a perfect death trap. The Nepenthes, found in the jungles of Southeast Asia, creates massive, waxy, colorful pitchers. These pitchers are modified leaves, hanging from vines capable of holding liters of fluid. The lure is not just nectar, but a visual masterpiece, a ring of glossy, sugary tissue called the peristome around the rim. It is an insect's last supper. An insect lands, drawn by the scent and the promise of sugar. It tries to feed on the peristome, but the surface is so smooth and steep, it acts like a fatal oil slick. A single mistake, a slip of the foot, and the insect tumbles inward. Inside is a chamber of horror. The walls are lined with a downward-facing wax that makes climbing back out virtually impossible. And at the bottom, the digestive fluid. This pitcher fluid is often a mixture of water and highly potent enzymes, proteases, chitinases, capable of breaking down the toughest exoskeletons. The insects dissolve slowly, completely, becoming a thick, nutrient-rich slurry. 
and sometimes the victims are not insects. Larger Nepenthes species have been documented catching and digesting small frogs, lizards, and even small rodents. The plant simply waits, the acid pit overflowing with the nutrients that the poor soil denies it. It is a chillingly efficient, passive execution. But the true diversity of the vampire planet lies in the less known silent assassins that utilize different, equally horrifying methods. Consider the beautiful but treacherous sundews or drosera. These plants look like glistening jewels covered in thousands of tiny, hair-like tentacles, each tipped with a drop of clear, sparkling mucilage, a super sticky, carnivorous glue. An insect lands, attracted by the shimmer, mistaking the glue for dew. Immediately, the tentacles begin a slow, creeping process, curling inward like the arms of an octopus, drawing the paralyzed victim into the center. The struggle only hastens the process. The plant then bathes the prey in its digestive fluid, absorbing the nutrients piece by piece. Death by beautiful, glistening torture. Even the aquatic world holds a killer. The bladderwort, Utricularia, is a marvel of microscopic hydraulic assassination. Floating invisibly in ponds and swamps, the plant is covered in tiny, clear, bladder-like sacs. These sacs are vacuum-sealed, primed, and loaded. When a small creature, like a water flea, brushes a trigger hair, the plant performs the fastest biological movement known a suction attack that happens in less than one ten-thousandth of a second. The sac opens, creates a massive vacuum, and the unsuspecting creature is instantaneously sucked into the trap, sealed shut, and left to be digested. It is a literal biological black hole, swallowing prey before they even register the danger. Why does nature tolerate this savagery? The answer, as always, lies in the merciless logic of evolution. Carnivorous plants don't murder because they want to. They murder because they must. They evolved in ecosystems, bogs, swamps, and rainforest canopies where water is plentiful, but essential soil nutrients like nitrogen are almost non-existent. Nitrogen is necessary for proteins and DNA. Without it, the plant cannot build and grow. Photosynthesis gives them energy, but their insect victims give them the vital building blocks to survive. The brutal reality is this. The most violent, shocking, and cruel behavior in the entire plant kingdom is not driven by malice, but by a desperate, primordial need for a nutrient that we take for granted every time we plant a seed in healthy soil. The life of a carnivorous plant is a daily rooted commitment to violence, a chilling reminder that in nature, sometimes even the gentlest forms of life must turn to blood to survive. They are the silent, rooted residents of the vampire planet. Yet, despite their ferocity and unique evolution, these botanical assassins remain some of the most delicate and endangered species on Earth, a fragile horror that needs our protection.